Let's go to line three. Hello, Trish, you're on the air. Hi, Patty. Hi there. Uh, I was calling uh, regarding the review that the government is doing in consultation yep. uh, regarding workers' compensation, which is long overdone itself, supposedly. It is recommended once at least in every five years, which in the last lot of consultation, it was strongly recommended that five years was too long. So this time, the, it turned out to be, well, seven years finally went by, and now the committee is on the road. In a newspaper... It suggests that you call, book your time, and ask for the um, service to go to the Internet mostly. But in the real world, lots of people don't have access to the Internet, uh, to emails, or to get the, the paper, the discussion paper. So people have been calling me and saying, uh, I'm calling the number 778-4804 okay. to arrange an appointment time or to get the discussion paper. And I'm leaving a message, or I'm not. I keep calling to try to get a human, and there's only voicemail. So I made the courtesy call to the minister's office earlier today, and I haven't heard back from anyone. So I said, well, I guess I'll go to the public and the government at the same time. by calling you today to say, hey, boys, you're on the road, and you took your office staff with you, and who is checking the messages and or contacting people? Because the people that I've heard from one, especially today, has been calling since Thursday. Yeah, no, you can call from Dublin. You can call. I can call home and check my messages if I'm in Dublin, right? That's I mean, yes, right. Me too. It's manageable. It could be done. So it is, could be done. Are but people who's that are returning the messages, they're not being returned. So that's everyone who's ever left a message is not going to reply. Now, Patty, why would you go down that route? Because you're because making the point, Trish. Whenever Trish, I call you, we, you, oh, I see. You okay. Now listen. Just listen. Okay. Well, you listen to Brad Cabana and host to the program. I have a right to share public information. I have not said that nobody who's ever called that number. That is not what I said. What I'm saying is when they set this up, they said the first they didn't even put a toll-free number for people who had to call long distance. I had to call the office to bring that to the attention of the person in that office of the stat review. So she said, well, people can call collect. That is still not in the newspaper. I tell people to call collect and ask for the paper. What I'm bringing to people's attention today is the fact that they are now calling. They're supposed to be booking times. It says in an ad that was in the weekend's paper, you know, walk-ins, I know from participating in other years gone by, walk-ins are difficult naturally based on their time frames, which is, you know, like 12 or 13 days from here to there, what they've been doing. So it's quite time-consuming, and you want to get your appointment made, and how can you do that if it's only been three days and nobody's calling you back? So what's happening is the spaces that are getting filled up is can potentially restrict someone from getting to be heard. Not go back to the point of, well, you're saying that everybody that calls in never gets a call. That's not what I said. You put words in my mouth. And I don't think that's fair. Thanks for the call. Okay. Take care.